While using the ruler, make sure you do not start here at the edge of the ruler. Line the paper up right here with the zero instead. We'll be measuring over to here at one half of an inch. Make sure you're using the side labeled inches, not centimeters. As I begin measuring out my half inch border, I line up my paper with the zero on the ruler, not the edge of the ruler. I measure over a half inch and put a little mark. I slide my ruler up, once again, lining the paper up with the zero, not the edge of the ruler. I measure over a half inch, put a mark. I then line up those two marks, making sure I stabilize the ruler so it doesn't slide. I then connect those two marks. I repeat this on each edge, measuring over a half inch, putting a mark, and then connecting the two marks. Once you have completed this, you will have your half inch border all the way around the edge of your paper. The next step is to measure out the boxes we will need for our shading exercise. I measure down three and a half inches from our border. I put a little mark there. I do the same thing on the other side, three and a half inches down and a mark. I then connect those two marks. Next, I measure up from the bottom border, three and a half inches and put a little mark. I do the same thing on the reverse side. I measure up from the bottom border, three and a half inches and put a mark. I then connect those two marks using my ruler. Now I put a mark at every one inch increment inside of that rectangle we just created. I move my ruler down to the bottom border and repeat the process. Using my ruler, I use those one inch increments to place lines inside of both my rectangles. Next, I subdivide my lower rectangle into half inch increments. After all my lines are in place, I then label each area, starting with zero up through nine. For the lower area, I start with nine, work my way down to zero, and then back from zero up to nine. Notice how this leaves me with two number zeros right in the center. I finish it off by labeling it as we should label all of our projects. Name, bottom right, date, bottom center, and period, bottom left.